More now on this developing story out of Iceland, where the town of Grindavik continues to deal with the fallout of the recent behaviour of disgraced football manager Ozzy Villain. The club has been inundated with lawsuits and requests, demands even for the manager to resign. Now, Villain had this to say just moments ago. I understand that uh, I've upset people with my recent behaviour. Um, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for any pain and suffering that, uh, that I may have caused. Uh, this football club is my life, and I would never knowingly do anything to harm its reputation. Um, I regret calling last episode of Transfer Special. I can, uh, I can see now how it may have misled people. But to those of you threatening to sue, a transfer out is still a transfer, so legally, we're sound. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream. It is season 10, the 10th season in charge. Episode 1 today, we start off with league games against Vala and Folgnia. And uh, well, let's uh, as ever begin by having a quick look at where we stand as a club. Uh, I am the manager, Vakali is the uh, is the captain and Ibnan is the vice captain this year. I did just want to draw our attention though to legends, icons and favoured personnel. I am a legend, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's a little bit broken because there's nobody else from our current uh, sort of that's been with us that is that is here now. Surely Gadini, all-time goal scorer, Beltenson, who's come through the club, um, you know, Rafferson, like these guys are surely turpinson has been here for ages as well. Done well for us. These guys are surely should be here somewhere. So it's a little bit disappointing. I don't know why. I don't know why they're not. But anyway, it is what it is. It's, it's not. It's not a huge deal. It doesn't ruin the game or anything. But it's just it just feels a little bit little bit uh, like, you know, these guys deserve some recognition. Vakali as well should be a legend. Uh, all right, so we are a, a three, uh, no, we're not. We're a two and a half star reputation team. We're surely a better reputation than that. We're being held back by the league right now. We are still the only professional team in Iceland. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I can do to fix that. Um, our coefficient is slowly going up. So maybe, maybe that's going to start and help us. I don't know. Uh, our key player is Jonsson. Our uh, hot prospect is Palacios. Um, I mean, yeah, sure, that's what the game wants to say. Now, if we go and have a quick look at uh, what is one of the, what we're expected to do this season. Finish in the top two places. That's all the board want. I mean, we're absolutely flying, but we're the only as long as we finish second, we'd still be a success this season, apparently. Uh, reach the first qualifying round. Well, that's where we enter, so that's fine. Win the uh, the, the Icelandic Cup. You've already won the other two competitions, so that's, uh, that's all fine. Now, in the league itself, the uh, pre-season uh, preview. You can see the odds here. Uh, Breeder Blink did come back up with Stajan. Now, they are two teams that have been with us in the top flight for more times than they haven't, I'd say, in terms of seasons. So I'm not surprised to see them there. Breeder Blink, they're our best chance of uh, of going pro, given that we gave them half a million for a defender that they still have. So, yeah, let's see what happens there. Um, the three, uh, the Dream Team, it is all uh, it is all our players. It does make me wonder if what Mashalek is there instead of Bakali, if maybe... I'm missing a trick there. Gadini playing out wide right. Maybe you could say there's it's you know something to be said about that. Um, but ultimately we can pick whatever team we want, can't we? We would still walk this league at this point. Uh, top two players are both ours. Who's this George Nasir from Breeder Blink? Uh, defender from. Uh, I mean he's not bad, is he? He's certainly not good enough for us. Uh, let's go down here and have a look at everybody else. Do we recognise any ex players here? Uh, not as of yet, I don't think. So, yeah, I mean, it is a little bit disappointing, isn't it? I'm really struggling bringing the rest of the league on. They're not taking the players off of us, and yeah, it's just a bit of a, a bit of a stretch, to be honest. I'm having a, a difficult time helping them out. But anyway, uh, let's go and uh, get this season underway, shall we? We are facing, first up, it is, I'm going to say Vela. Here we go, Vela away. I think both our games today are away from home, so that'll be a nice little extra uh, difficulty level for us. Uh, you can see Breeder Blink and Viking have already played. They drew uh, the first game of the season, and uh, the cup, of course, is still going. Uh, so a 4-2-3-1 is what we're expecting from them, and the team we're sending out, we're going to go with what I think is our first choice team first up. So Rafferson in goal, Depe, Immanen, Degen, and uh, Jones. It'll be Deanna, Jonsson, and Bacali in midfield. Iscala and Higuain, it is about Robertson up top. Uh, we haven't got Enriquez, the third joint goalkeeper, registered, mainly because he's a foreign player, and ideally I would like to cash in on him. I want to try and sell him with a sell-on, um, 
So if I can get a hundred grand, basically make our money back, get into a bigger team, and then hopefully sell, they'll sell him on from there. But we'll see what happens when the transfer window opens in Europe. Mosquera is still injured, and if you did miss the non-episode last episode, um, we have sold Parisi, so we're not going to worry about playing him for uh, for the rest of his time with us. Maybe a farewell appearance if he's lucky. All right, let's get to this game. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. Uh, this Trig Vason guy, I've almost signed him. We won't sign him now, but there was a long time where I really wanted to bring him in for us. But uh, obviously, he is, uh, he's moved on. He was at Selfos. You may remember he used to score against us uh, for them all the time. This is a, just a stick to the plan. We'll be fine. Um, if you do hear a screaming child, I apologize. James apparently is fighting his nap right now. Uh, and here we go. So, yeah, I mean... The window is still open. The transfer window is still open for another week. I mean, really, nothing has changed since last episode. I'm recording this before uh, that episode has gone out, so uh, I'm very much assuming there's going to be uh, a little bit of crap coming my way for having a transfer special with no transfers, but and rightly so. Um, but yeah, I just I, nothing's changed. I, I can't. I'm not going. I don't think it's a good idea to sign players for the sake of signing them. Uh, there will probably be more opportunities to sign players open up once uh, the European season, the, like the actual you know, continental Europe, that's what I'm looking for, season opens. Dagen over the top. Um, so yeah, once that opens up, then you'll be there'll be players that are transfer listed at the end of seasons, your contracts expire, things like that. It'll probably uh, will have more of a chance to, to get players in. Uh, and ultimately, the team that we have now is good enough to play in the league. It's good enough to, to win the league comfortably. So there's no urgent rush to sign players. Um, it would obviously just be nice if we could uh, if we could get some signings in, give them time to bet in before European football starts. But I mean, even then, you know, uh, we'll have until what, September when Champions League proper starts, assuming that we, we get there. Deanna with a chance to knock in a free kick. And that reminds me, goal of the season we need to show you. And that's a very good start from Frank Deanna. It is 1-0, and it is a bit of a special free kick as well. His first ever senior goal. It usually means first league goal, doesn't it? He has scored before, but uh, obviously not domestically. To be fair, he doesn't usually play that much domestically. But uh, he's actually come along enough that I think we can play him as a deep-lying playmaker now. So uh, we can use him in, in league games in that role. As Higuain has uh, lost out, as has Depe, and we've gone very, very close to conceding a goal there. Here we go with Bacali now coming the other way. Gets it wide for Higuain. Higuain, it's, oh, it's intercepted. And that will do it. That will do it for the first half. It is just the one goal, but it's been more or less domination, hasn't it? So I think we just, we don't let complacency sneak in. Uh, Lars Degen is anxious. You just need to get used to my team talks, Lars. You'll be fine. And uh, there we go. That is that. We will get back out there. If you can still hear screaming children, that is Ava. I don't know why she's screaming. <laughs> that is just a two-year-old screaming because they can. All right, Imminent. Uh, Imminent is... I mean, they're also, the thing with all our players is I, I don't realize how young they are. Like, Imminent's only, like, 19 or something. Um, so, you know, these guys that don't look like they're quite good enough yet, they've got so much growing that they can still do. Uh, I think if he's not club trained now as well, he's... Oh, Higuain gets past his man. Can he find Valtensen? Of course he can. And opening day of the season, Valtensen got his 17th goal. He is just a goal-scoring machine, isn't he? But Higuain here did really well. Sucked the defender in. Took it past him. And, uh, well, at that point, you almost feel sorry for the Bell of Defence, don't you? There is no way they are stopping Higuain and Valtensen with that much space. So 2-0. That should be enough. Uh, we've got some youngsters on the bench. We will start and uh, introduce them, especially if we can get a third goal. A third goal makes me feel comfortable. Imminent's being done in behind there, though, and... Well, I'm going to say it's a little bit unlucky. We've got Gus making noise now. Jesus Christ, this house is chaos today. Can Rafferson make a save? No, he cannot, and it is suddenly 2-1. And, uh, yeah. Not ideal game back on all of a sudden but let's hope that uh, it's not going to get any worse than that let's give it a uh, wait till after this highlight I've made a poor wardrobe choice as well it's it's boiling in here oh that's a red card no it's not ball over the top Boutenson gives chase oh the defender does okay under pressure doesn't he and here we go it's not like they broke us down either I mean a penalty it's, it can happen kind of here we go with Bacali no bit of a heavy touch and Deanna, De oh, can he win it back again? 
Just a little bit nervous way this highlight's going to play out. I thought when we got the early goal in the second half, that would be it. But uh, they've certainly come well. Did Bacali just win a header? Here we go with Higuain. Back to Bacali. He's in the box. Oh, it's just over the top. Or was it wide? I think Bacali just won a header in midfield, though. That uh, That is something. Ball in. Headed away. Here's Bacali. And that will end that highlight. Let's try demand more. Um, I, I don't really want to make a change now because at 2-1, it's uh, it's very much still game on. So, sorry kids on the bench, you're going to have to wait till next time. Blame Imminent. Uh, Alright, we've got another highlight. Just, just trying to think if we want to change the way we're doing anything. Um, Depe on a booking's not ideal, but it's one of those we just have to trust him. And see where we go from here. We do sometimes start the season a little bit slowly. Though we did look at times quite good in uh, the preseason cup. So we, we, we've been able to play football in preseason. So I'm a little bit confused as to why we've struggled so much. Here Jonsson! There's a finish on the half volley. He has done very, very well to keep that under the bar. That is not an easy thing to do. I mean, if it was me, I would have taken the air swing, fallen over, and I probably would have hurt my tailbone. But uh, Albert Jonsson, oh, that's a sweet strike, isn't it? A very, very sweet strike. And that is now 3-1 with 10 to play. It's a bit late to bring on subs now because they're not going to get a match rating, so it doesn't help their development. Anyway, Rafferson. Is it a save or is it... Oh, it's, I'm, well, obviously it's not a save because otherwise it would have been a corner. But it looked good. It looked very good. So there it is. Opening game of the season. It is 3-1. Just the penalty that we conceded, so you can forgive that. Iskala continuing to not endear himself to me after being unhappy for most of last season. But uh, there we go. Good win. So straight to the top of the league. That's the way we like it, isn't it? Excellent work, boys. And uh, there we go. We hammer Vela. I wouldn't say we hammered them. That's very harsh on them. Uh, a permanent deal for Higuain. We would all love a permanent deal for Higuain. I can tell you that. But right now we're getting in for nothing. I mean, we have 45 million. We don't have that much money. And the wages, 20, we can actually afford those wages. So, um, yeah, if, if Manchester City would like to sell him for a little bit less than, uh, than what he's currently valued at, then maybe we could get something. But... Imagine if we could sign him permanently. That would be something, wouldn't it? All right, guys, wait there. We'll switch up uh, 11 players this time. We'll do the goalkeeper as well, and we'll come back and face Volshnip. All right, welcome back. Now we have one in, one out of the uh, of the physio's room. Mesquera is back, but Depe is out up to or just over a month, perhaps. Uh, so that's a that's a big blow. Uh, it just sort of quickens up, I think, the fact that uh, Tom Jones is going to be playing as a left back. He's left footed, he's both foot uh, player, so he can do that. And we'll just do somebody else at right back. But uh, yeah, Depe is gone for a month, and in a way, say it's good. It forces my hand. But we're about to face Folgenut. Let's go and have a look and see what we're doing here. Transfer window has now officially closed. Uh, obviously, we didn't sign anybody. I would have told you. 4-4-2 uh, we're expecting out of them. And this is the team we're sending out. It's Halford, Darson in goal. It's Johansson. It's Mortensen, Mesquera, and Julison is the back four. Gisarasson. He is he's just getting better and better. So we're going to give him a game here in sort of the second 11 with uh, Antonio and Mashalek, Palacios, Nellum, and Gadini would be. How's that for a second 11? Uh, I mean, some of the players that haven't made either of these teams, Turpinson or Markson are two very good players for us. Um, who else? Uh, our new striker, you know, Rojas is still on the bench. Wouldn't have got a game. Um, there's still some good players. I mean, defensively, we still haven't given uh, Hadartson, who's solid, a game. Uh, or this youngster here, uh, Unison. Um, obviously, Astadi is on the bench. Now, Astadi and or... Uh, not Astadi there, or Ramos. One of them will come in and sort of share the, the right-back role with Julison. Probably Ramos, if I'm honest. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the second 11 is just so strong right now. All right, so again, do we recognize anybody in their lineup? I don't think so. Axelson sounds familiar, but I don't know if it's uh, that we've played against him before. Uh, all right, let's go with enjoy the game, I suppose. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, now, Mesquera is, as I said, you, you saw just back from injury. Hasn't really had a preseason. So yeah, we'll have to, we'll just see what we get from him. This is just going to be easing him a little bit back into action. And uh, yeah, if we can, then um, we might even take him off towards the end of the game if uh, if he's looking like he's getting tired. But yeah, like I say, it's a second 11. That team 
that team would win the league, wouldn't it? It would win the league quite comfortably, I would suggest. So, yeah, that is um, that just shows the strength that we have right now. And we've got some decent prospects that are still in the under-20s. We did get the youth intake preview as well. Uh, it was not a good one. So, yeah, uh, have we... Now, what, the thing is, too, what I don't know is that, is it that we are getting worse players through, or is it that uh, we're playing at a higher standard, the squad's at a higher standard, so relative to the ooh, relative to the rest of the squad, the youngsters that are coming through aren't great. So it, it could well be that. It might just be that, yeah, that we're, you know, they're playing the difference between, oh, it's going to go straight through the goalkeeper. Hansi Mortensen has got the goal, so well done to him, but... Um, Really, he's got an assist on that goal, hasn't he? Hadatsen's got himself an own goal. Uh, but we won't take it away from him. Maybe we should, but we won't. <laughs> uh, and it's 1-0. So, excellent work there. Um, it'd be, yeah, so it's kind of like the difference between a player that came through, say, at, uh, at a good team like Aston Villa or a crap team like Birmingham City. You know, the same player would be a five-star player at Birmingham and maybe a half a star player. But you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm just getting a dig in there for the sake of it. Um, but yeah, you know, so that that could be that could be what it is. Rather than the intakes are necessarily worse, it's that we need a higher quality of player to uh, to make our team or to. Oh, that was a nice first touch. That's a very good goal. And Axelson, if I didn't know him before the game, I certainly know him now. Um, that was, as I say, that touch to get around the defender. And was it Mortensen? Just he's probably telling him all about his goal, Handy. And uh, oh, it's good, isn't it? It's really good, and the finish as well. It's almost goal of the season. That's a really good goal. You don't mind conceding brilliance, and that was brilliance. But uh, let's see if the second eleven here can can get something going. Nellum back to Mashalek. Haven't seen much of Palacios was really, really good in preseason in that uh, League Cup. He was he was absolutely brilliant. Gadini walks his way through and just can't quite find a way past the goalkeeper. Here we go again. One thing we could look to do here to oh here we go. Nellum's been played in here. Nellum, if he pulls it back, surely Gadini scores. It's back to Antonio! And Jose Antonio gets his first of the season. And really he just passed it into the back of the net, didn't he? He did really, really well. Nellum takes advantage of the defensive mistake. And it's just kind of bobbled around. But I, oh, I tell you what, that from behind the goal, that is very, very special indeed. It was more than a pass. It was uh, it was Spanish, Spanish flair, wasn't it? And he is, of course, Spanish. And he's also only 24, isn't he? Yeah, 24. I don't realize how young this team is. Uh, I don't think we're quite at the levels if you watch the Queen of the South um, Impossible Dream. I don't think we're quite at the levels there. Good ball for Gadini. If he's on side, oh, good save. Um, I don't think we're quite at the level there where, I mean, we basically had an 11 of Wonder Kids. We don't have, I don't think we have any even guys that are considered promising. Oh, it's off the post and the crossbar and then Gadini has tapped it in. So that is 3-1 now in first half stoppage time, essentially. And uh, well, that might give us a chance to uh, to bring on some of the youngsters off the bench this time. It's hit everything. I tell you what, Gadini should have scored the first, one. <laughs> but he got there in the end. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so yeah, we haven't got anybody that's even considered a promising uh, player that I'm aware of. I mean, it, it does change all the time, but I do check because the two that you would expect to be promising. Strikers, goalkeepers, whatever, would be uh, Rafferson and, and um, what's his face, Baltonson, obviously. And it's it's never said that. So whether it's just that they're not promising because they're more than that, but then you think they'd be a wonder kid. So anyway, um, we'll get back out there for now. We will definitely, I say definitely, as long as we don't concede a goal here, we will make some changes around the hour mark. Um, we'll take Gadini off and get, get a look at Rojas. There's an interception there for Antonio. Can he play in Gadini? Mashalek. Mashalek for Nellum. Nellum. Nice ball there for Johansson on the overlap, but the cross is blocked. And, oh, that's terrible. Palacios, is it going to? No, we're going to win that back. Hey, look at that header from Mosquera. Gesserasen. Antonio. There's the ball for Mishalak running forward. Oh, one thing we've done really, really well this season uh, in the preseason, anyway, is that, that that attacking, that advanced playmaker getting forward like that. Bakali has scored. We well, got a hat trick in one game, 
Um, he's he's really done well getting forward, and we've just seen uh, Mashulak do the same thing. So the, the 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 team sort of figured that out. Gadini, oh, I'll tell you what, that save is as good as the goal they scored. Absolutely world class. Mashulak now with a corner. Can we get Hansi Mortens on on the end of it again? It makes you wonder how a goalkeeper can make that save in the same game he conceded the goal that he did to Mortensen. It's uh, it's almost beggar's belief, isn't it? Here we go. Mashalek. There's a good ball for Gadini over the top. Is Gadini going to get there? He is. And Gadini will score. Is he onside? I think so. Or is he? No, he's not. He's offside. And, oh, I tell you what, he is just off. So, fair play to the Lions when he got that one right. Uh, are we at the hour mark yet? Not quite. Palacios working hard. Ball in. Heather to wait. Nellum's there. Flicks it on to nobody. Another ball forward into the penalty area. It's a block and it's off. It must have been the guy that crossed it in was offside. Gives a Rasen over a free kick. Has a go. And that wasn't far away. Um, all right. We do have a few bookings on there. We're at the hour mark now. Does Gadini have a hat trick? Is he on a hat trick? No, he's neither of those things. So... There's no guilt in taking him off. So I do want to give Rojas a game to have a look at him. I want to give uh, Bjornsson a game because he's a good young prospect for us. So we'll bring him on for Mashalek. Arneson, I showed you uh, last episode. He's a good prospect as well. So we'll get him on for Antonio, who's on a booking. And do we have another sub? If we have a sub... Oh, we do. So we'll bring Jofferson on, give him some game. Actually, no. I'll undo that last one. I want to give... Mosquera a rest, I think, and we'll bring on the young Unison. Uh, yeah. So, just the four changes. That's fine. From a defensive corner, which is when you're supposed to do it. Or was it five changes? How many changes did I make there? Anyway, we got the corner away, so we're relatively organized still. And ball back in, just over the top. And uh, no harm, no foul. It's been a pretty uh, decent effort from then going forward. We've had the same amount of shots on goal as they have. Palacios over a free kick. Only playing a 6-4, which is disappointing given how good he was in preseason. But perhaps it's just a game that has not really suited wide players. As Arneson almost loses out in midfield, but we come away with it. Here we go with Palacios. He just looks doesn't look like the same confident player. Rojas wins it back. Rojas! Rojas! It's his third of the season. It's his first in the league. And it is 4-1. And he did that all himself, didn't he? One back possession. And then a nice composed finish, which is exactly what I thought we were going to get from him. Just nicked it off him. And then uh, looked up, round the defender, into the back of the net. Very, very nicely done. So that should be enough then, shouldn't it? Yeah, Nellum and Palacios, neither of them are playing particularly well. So I suspect it's maybe... Maybe a tactical thing that is holding them back. Whether it's the way that they're playing or it's just... We're not using them properly, but they're both decent enough players as Axelson. Let's not let him turn in the box this time. <laughs> I think we've seen enough of that. Happel Darson makes a relatively simple save. We're into stoppage time. Can we go and get a fit? Unison, one of the great young hopes. Arneson, another one. Cross to Julison. He gets it forward for Rojas. Can Rojas get a double on his league debut? He cannot. Johansson at left back's not having a great game either. So there were questions asked there, weren't there? You got to say, why, just generally the wide players, maybe not covering themselves in glory. We were up against a 4 4 2, so perhaps it's just a little bit different and uh, it hasn't quite, quite worked for us. But anyway, win to win. So there we go, top of the league, all by ourselves, only team with a perfect record. And let's hope this season we can actually carry that through for the entire 22 games. It really should be something we can do, shouldn't it? Uh, but there we go. Gisa Rasen, the youngster, gets two assists. And uh, yeah, the second team did almost as well as the first team, didn't they? But that'll do it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We'll be back next time. Uh, the cup is back, so that means the gags are back. So we'll come back for Reina, uh, who just got relegated to the third tier last season. Um, so that should be one we can win. And then we'll either have, uh, if, we, if we have to play IA after losing to a third tier side, then there will be problems. So we'll come back and we'll also play them. The, the fourth round tie which is usually around here somewhere at which point european football starts again so it's never ending isn't it guys thank you so much for watching take care